When calculating the absolute risk reduction, we need to know four values. The number of people who received therapy A and developed a condition. The total number of people who received therapy A. The number of people who received therapy B and developed the condition. And the total number of people who received therapy B. When we have the necessary values, we can calculate the absolute risk reduction by subtracting the instance of the condition in those who received therapy B, C over C plus D, by the instance of the condition in those who received therapy A, A over A plus B. Now let's try a quick example. Let's say that in a clinical trial involving 700 people, 400 received therapy A and 300 received therapy B. By the end of the trial, 30 people who received therapy A developed a condition of interest, while 60 people who received therapy B also developed a condition. Using the data provided, we find that the instance of the condition in those who received therapy A was 30 over 400, which is about 8%, whereas the instance of the condition in those who received therapy B was 60 over 300, which is 20%. By subtracting the instance of the condition in those who received therapy B by the instance of the condition in those who received therapy A, we find that the absolute risk reduction is 12%.